representative string and If I go through the example like that, it takes a long time. That's the reason I don't like it. Because if I do it, it's going to take a long, long time. <laughs> no. I, I, I want to jump in here to potential. I'm going to start with the string. So um, I'll create, uh, and I'm going to create it, just copy the code that I have written and explain it to you. And we'll go through it quick like that. Uh, after To understand what inheritance is, is how it works. So let's start with the with the string thingy. So my apologies again, but if you want. So I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to call that class a string. Why? Because I don't like the way it's very difficult to go through all the good stuff, right? So I want, I want my string to act like a regular variable. And to do that, I create something like this. I count and all that. Default is uh, a dynamic array of uh, essentially an array of characters.
set straight into empty. Proctor is Structure so one string can be set. This do it with your eyes closed. So when I say string, oh, another common thing. I said the test. So these two. So I ask function. That I want name dot tell me what is the add one string to another concatenate. Um, I want to be able to which means I have a name that Hey, let me write the main. So, so when workshop six comes, it's about inheritance. So in this main, just to understand what I wanted to do over here, I want to be able to say <coughs> string dot h, and in here say include io stream, and my string is namespace stds, right? So yeah, so I'm going to say using stds and using namespace std int main. So <clears throat> in here, I want to be able to say string name is set to far that. OK? Yes. That microphone.
that you're using it. You have a function in main and in its you are using it. It's a little that main can be used somewhere else. Main is something that's using everything else. That's we've been always, yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, <clears throat> so I can say over here string surname. Uh, let's change that from Farda to Fred. Okay, and I have over here surname. <laughs> surname, okay. So I have choices to make the name over here. I can do, <clears throat> I can go over here, uh, say I can say string string full name, okay, right? Now this full name, I'm gonna set it to, set it to name. <clears throat> so what is this? This is one argument constructor, correct? That receives a constant character pointer, correct? We're all clear about that, right? This is a one argument constructor too, which receives a constant string reference, right? Which happens to be called copy constructor, right? Okay, now, this is the part that you said, what is the difference between the two? <clears throat> I want to be able, if I, if I, now I want to do, I want to make the full name Fred Soleil. <clears throat> To do that, I have to put a space between the two, right? So in here, I'm going to say full name plus equal space. Correct? Now I want to add the last name. What do I do? Oh, actually, the surname is not supposed to be capitalized. <clears throat> so this This, <clears throat> if you do not implement this, that will still work. Can you tell me why? After string out of this one, that's what I'm implementing it. Are we okay? <coughs> Obviously, <clears throat> I want to be able to go see out full name. That's why I have the operator overload, and I want to be able to say <clears throat> and then be able to go see in, right? So as you see, the string <clears throat> I do not want to even use those things. That's why I am going to I am going to add my utils class. And in my utils, in my utils, I'm going to uh, uh, have those stuff written. I, I wrote it myself. Okay, so string copy and stuff. I wrote so I don't have to include a string header file. 
So utils.cpp over here is essentially doing what, what uh, string is supposed to do. <clears throat> okay? So what I do, I'll create. the utils class, I go to the header file and add what we call an extern, which is kind of a, it becomes a prototype for that U. This makes it global. Prototype for functions in header file. You can. <clears throat> I could create something like this over here. I could say um, const uh, long double pi equals to something like that. Okay. That. So what do I do? Hello. So what do I do? I simply take this, I come over here, <clears throat> and I add a prototype to it. Which means now pi is available everywhere. Anyways, looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. That's what it does. It's uh, just that. So all these functions are written in that utils, right? Okay. And this is exactly the same thing in your project. But in project, we call it utils lower. Okay, so, so now I have the string.h. Let's actually bring the code for string. Bring the code for the string. This is how everything is done. <clears throat> oh, I have a debug too. Let me bring the debug. Uh, debug is nothing extraordinary, just... Uh, uh, it just, uh, I just want to see how I, uh, what did I write over there? Let me just give me a second and let me bring it. It's just to turn on debugging on and off so I can see things happening. That's all. Nothing other than that. Uh, come on. Yep, here it is. <clears throat> so in debug, all I have is a defined state. Uh, I can print the debugging state. You see that, what should we call it, the uh, safeguard. In safeguards, I'm saying, <clears throat> in a safeguard, I say, if not define SDDS string H, then at the next line, I say define, correct? So the next time it's hit, because it's already defined, the code is not going to get compiled, right? I'm using the exact same feature in here creating the just a as simple as that 
So if I come to my string.cpp over here, as you see, <coughs> empty is setting to empty. Very forward, just to show you the two. And please, I, I, as I mentioned, their code is already written, and we have done this so many times. I'm just freshing up your memory after a week of beer drinking, and not for you, of course, but uh, <laughs> and, and enjoy uh, uh, your time. I just want you to bring you back to C++. <clears throat> so where was I? Uh, <clears throat> oh, I wanted to bring the uh, window uh, split in two and bring string h at left so we can see what we are doing. So set empty. Okay. <clears throat> Depending on how set empty, I didn't do it in this one. It depends on how your logic works. People say when I de when I want to set it to null, I deallocate it. So that that that'll that'll do if if you want to do it that way. <clears throat> For the constructor, as you see, I have to that line is dimmed. If I actually come over here and do this, you see it's not dimmed anymore. Now the debugging will get compiled and it's going to print it. And as we mentioned, we have that can show your debugging statements, right? So I'm going to go back to define in here. I'm going to do it like this. All right, so now it won't get printed. Now is the length. If it's string uh, at the thing that I have is an array of characters. If the dynamic array is an array of is essentially a loop going through everything. That's SDR line, you see? It says start from zero, go up to one, go up to one. That's why I'm doing that. So that's that one. Um, at the back, can you see? Uh, can you see the thing? Is it, are we good? One more. Can you see? <laughs> no. OK. <clears throat> also, I, yeah, that's OK. I'm going to, later on, I'm going to um, slide so we can see. Actually, let me just give me a second. Let me pause. Yeah, so that's that one. For string copy, it's the exact same. Because operator equal the assignment. If and because I have everything initialized to zero, I'm not worried that operator equal is going to crash because it's null, the delete and everything is going to be ineffective essentially. Another thing that If something makes sense, 
is I do not understand how delete works. Although, yeah, anyway, so. For assignment operator, might cause trouble. Only in, only in assignment overload. Only copy assignment. Sorry, only in copy assignment overload. Only. Okay. Can I do this? That's assignment. That's impossible because there is no S to be said. <laughs> right? That's why the constructor never checks for some operator, although if I have SDR is equal to SDR, that's possible. It means I have a string created. Right? Now I'm assigning it to itself so that, am I making sense? Explain. that because we make mistakes all the time. And you think you are not. Mistakes happen. It's not a mistake actually. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The copy, the copy, the copy won't. Impossible. Yes. So I'm checking. And then I'm. Not no. Returns false if it is not. Reference of the current object. And final rule of three. Uh, Be a professional. Do it in. The Boolean is doing it. The length is returning length. Operator plus equal. As a do anything. Empty added to anything is anything. I don't need to do it.
what I need to do. So allocate enough space that can fit them both. Then I copy the data of the current one. Okay, I copy the current. Then, uh, STR copy. Uh, oh, if, if this is, sorry, if this has anything. If this doesn't have it, if this one is a blank one, then it has to be, that's the very first thing should be zero. So that's what I do. So I'm going to say um, if, if the left side to it is empty, make it empty. So this uh, empty C string if left one is blank, right? I want the, the I want let's say point to the one that I just concatenation of both. That one. The other one is operator plus equal, which I'm getting an error for. What is this? Incompatible with plus equal. What? How is it? Oh, because I removed it. <laughs> yeah. This one after the other one. I have written. Because this, this is an identical logic to the other one, correct? The only difference is that this is a C string, the other one is not, correct? So if I have written this one first, in here what I could do was this. Correct? Exactly the same thing, no difference. This way it checks to something. Wrong thing to do. Okay, so in here I said. dynamic copy out of it, right? We are we can actually do it like this. That's the only case we can use the string class. Okay? That's the only case. You are not allowed to use it ever. In OP345, you can. Here. I use that mechanism of string just because I'm practicing in here. <clears throat> Obviously, the 
attempt But uh, I just want to show you how, the, how we can use the string. So <clears throat> the string works like this. So instead of having that temp thingy, I'm going to use the get line helper function. Get line has a helper function. Okay. And it is in string uh, header file. Okay. So I can say get line. And in this get line, you are saying from where you are getting. So I'm, I'm reading from ISDR, and I am reading a string. So what I will do over here, I'll create string temp, and I'm going to put temp in here. So this get line reads from I string into and it has no limit. Say uh, delete m data after that. So I'm going to delete everything, and I'm going to say operator plus equal. I don't have an operator equal, do I? No, I didn't create it. Anyway, plus equal will do too. M data is that one, and I'm going to say set empty. Now I'm going to say temp.csdr. So essentially I'm saying, please give me your secret. So that, now I'm done. Okay, so this is using the, uh, the string class, the, the C++ string which is very ugly. Anyways, so that's this. Or uh, but I'm just going to. So <clears throat> now my read is that one. And in here, I'm going to do it like this. That's using the string class. OK? You can see it if you want. Anyway, so that reads. So now I have the string that actually works. And as you see, my operator. OK? All right, so uh, any questions down to this point? Give me line number. Absolutely right. If it was a member, I would have made it a constant because it's not a member and it cannot be a member. Okay.
Yes, you can, because it's the same object. You can't. So if I had You have access to all its parts. And that's the string, okay? Um, the string, uh, so, and um, now if I run the program, you'll see that it actually, uh, will it work? What's going on? Oh, there we go. So it's going to say, what's your name? Now I'm going to say over here, Farlet. Sully Manlu, and it says hello for that. So, so as you see now, the string over here. Anything that I, that I put over here, you can use. Now, I, improv I, <clears throat> I completed the code of this one, not completed. I think I added more bells and whistles to it. As practice, actually, it's a good idea to do this. Add these to this. So exactly like the top one, let's put it like this. Okay, add these. If I had these two, I could have done this. <clears throat> oh. I could have done <laughs> I could have done It receives a name and uh, a space, returns a nameless string that contains them both. That name one creates another nameless that contains name, space, and surname. That nameless will be set, uh, will go to full name. So the difference is that I made a mistake over here. These cannot be references because copies has to be, oh, these cannot be references because it's constant. It's not supposed to change the left operator. String and
<coughs> must return a copy. Actually, implement, I'm just going to implement one of them for you to see how easy it is to create one. You see this over here? S see what I'm doing? You see that string thing over there that it has? <clears throat> In here, I'm going to say, what happens? is to add the right one to it. Done. Oh, why did it go inside? Done. Known of the current string left operand. Get right operand. And it's the exact same thing for the other one. Done. Now, if I actually, if I actually compile this, this is what happens. So in here, I'm going to say, see out uh, full name. This is what happens. These are called, we know it, I don't want to go through it, okay? Now, first, this operator is called plus C string, which means it comes in here. You see that? Then it creates a temporary nameless out of the current one, a copy of the current one. It goes to the copy constructor from that copy constructor and sets everything to null, obviously, then sets that nameless to the current value, uh, which is going through this, I'm not going to go through it. So now at left side, I have a copy. Now it adds the right one that is an empty one blank string into the current one using plus equal, which is essentially, as you see over here, it creates it, it copies it. So now M data is Fred. Now it comes over here, concatenates that empty one. Now it becomes Fred and empty adds the length, deletes the current one, sets everything, return this, and now the nameless is returned using a copy constructor out to full name. That, ladies and gentlemen, goes to a plus operator for the surname now. Now the plus operator nameless and surname will happen. It goes up over here. Uh, does the exact same thing with another object, and then it's returned, goes to the assignment operator. In that assignment operator, the full name is actually set to the full name that we have, that is Fred Space Soy. So in one line, Don't use oh,
Are we good? All right. One thing that I wanted to mention over here, and I that and I uh, uh, did not mention in your class is the initialization area. What is the initialization? Give me a second. Let me close this one. Uh, we have any questions? About this? Please do that. Okay? Pardon me? No, 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 no. It's not going to be. No, 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 no. So, let me close down this the, the thing over here. So, this is main too. So, we. So you can add to the features of the string and use it in your project if you want to, if it suits you. Um, the next thing we want to do over here. All right. <clears throat> Let's say, take a look at this, please. Okay, let's say I have a class H. which means in here what I need, if I write over here, uh, uh, if I write over here, now we know what size t is, so I'm going to write size t. We, h cannot be, actually let me put integer so we can validate it. I'm going to say m h over here, right? So that's at the h that I have, right? Then I have over here a constructor over here, and in my constructor I'm going to write over here h, and the h thingy is going to receive an integer uh, value, right? Um, and it sets the age to the value, right? And then what it has to do? Then I'm going to say, let me just, let me think for a second. I'm going to say, a max for the max, I'm going to put a value in here. So that's the maximum value that we have. I'm going to say if mh is, is greater than value, I'm going to set the age to value. <clears throat> so it's going to correct the value of the age to what it's supposed to. Okay. Now I'm going to say void min over here, I'm going to put a value. And I'm going to say if m age is less than value, then m age is set to value. You follow what I did? Call it age correction. 
right? Now, in here, I'm going to have integer um, age. And I'm going to say C out, enter the age. And then I'm going to go C in H. Now what I want to do over here is to say I have a, an age correction. Or you know what I'm going to do? Instead of doing this, I'm going to put the min the max over here. Ah, age correction. In here, I'm going to say age. Correct C age, correct age, and in here I'm going to pass the age to it. Now I want to say C age dot max 50, or I don't know, I want to do something that I am qualified in it. And I'm going to say C age min 18, and I want this. And I want this act. So if I want, I want to say, I'm going to say over here, C, oh, the age is corrected to age. <clears throat> I want, I want this to happen. Now the problem is, that why is that? Why is it not going to work? age inside, M age becomes a copy of it. If I run this program, and I put over here 80, it remains 80. It is supposed to be corrected to 70. It did correct it to 70. Which one? The copy. Make it a reference. There is a single problem with this. Initialize to anything. How can I initialize my? There is no such realization area is the space is the space between the parentheses and the curly bracket of the it is this, it is this one. Let, let's put it like this. This is the initialization area. I specifically brought it out because I didn't want it to, to be a mistake. You can initialize. That's how you simply put a column, put the name of the attribute, and initialize it to whatever you want. Age will be reference of 
whatever that is coming in. So the reference when correction is happening over here, it's going to actually apply to the thing. So if I say over here 80, it actually becomes 70 now. This is why we have initialization here. And the old syntax is this. They both work. You can do that. If I have something over here, anything, I don't know, some kind of a thing, in some value, okay? And in here, you are initializing it to one, two, three, okay? So if in initialization area, I do some value, one, two, then it's going to different construct. OK? So this, ladies and gentlemen, is called initialization area. OK? So constructor. And you want to So, in other words, I could have something like, oh, it is, string is already included. So, in here, I'm going to have string correction name, m correction name, okay? And I'm going to set that one to no name. So, it is set to no name, right? So it is set to no name, and in here I'm going to say, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, what do I say, what do I say, what do I say, what do I say? So I'm showing that I am, I am, I am showing the, I am displaying the correction name. So in here I can, I can do uh, H is correct. Ah, let me just do the other one too now that I have done this. Um, sorry. So in here I can go. M correction name in here. I'm going to say Seneca bar customer correction. Age correction. So if you are getting to a bar at Seneca, you have to be between the ages of 70 and 18. 18 and 70. Okay, so now if I actually write over here. In here, I can say uh, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, uh, uh, age correction, correction dot this, oh, display, why is it not showing it? Oh, it's, uh, sorry, uh, ch dot display, and go to new line. So now, it actually, or age correction, it overwrites the, the initialization you have up there. Okay. You, if, but if it had any other type of that, the no name will be. So this 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is initialization area. Okay? So in here, I'm going to say C init area. CPP. What else we need to talk about? Fast ends at 945, correct? All right. And it's 924. We can actually start the inheritance. Let me see what else do we have. Did we talk about index operator overload? OK, uh, just to add one more thing to the string. Let's say I want to do the, I want to print the third character of the string. If I want my string to act like an array, I want to be able to, uh, let me just bring the main up. So let's say I want to be able to, to do this. Uh, uh, I'm going to say full name C out. Um, I'm going to say full name <coughs> starts, st starts with, I want to be able to say full name zero. To have the first character printed, and I want to be able to say, and ends with full name, full name dot length minus one, right? I want to be able to do that. I want to be able Full, full name acts like a character with. Okay? It's quite simple, actually. You see this index thingy? That's actually an operator. What does it do? No, no. It receives an argument. That could, I can, I can, you can pass a string in there if you pass, pass a double to that one if you're overloading it. Receive it. You can put anything you, you want to it. You can have a phone directory created and inside here to you. You can do that. There's no problem. But in here, we're going to do the integer one. So now, in here, I'm going to say I want to return a character, right? So I'm going to say character reference because I want the reference of that character to be returned so they can change it if they want to. Operator, operator, index, and in here I'm going to say size t, because I, negative, it's impossible to be negative. Size t index, I'm not going to make it constant because I want them to be able to change it. Okay? So now I implement it like this. I'm going to say return. This is actually tricky. I'll tell you why. Why is it tricky? I'll tell you why it's tricky. So in here, I can say return, um, return, what do I return? Return uh, m data. That's where the thing is, right? m data. And uh, uh, index, I'm going to say modulus m length. Right? So let's say.
It never goes out of the length of the thing. Then 10. Is it the other way or this way? The other way? The other, it's the other way. Seriously, my brain sometimes fails me. I think I have to check something. <laughs> yeah, anyways. So this is good work. So if I run it, it actually gives me all the stuff that I want. So it's going to tell me, oh, it crashed. Good. Let's see why it crashed. So let's see why it crashed. So I'll run it. It comes over here. Oh, because, ah. But I didn't want it to crash. I'll tell you how we can actually make it so it doesn't crash. So I wanted to actually engineer it in a way so it, I'll show you how to crash after. But like this, I'm going to put over here plus surname. Now it won't crash. And then we're going to make it. <laughs> it starts with F and ends with Y. So that is what, right? line I declared it oh yeah you mean you mean <clears throat> you mean you mean do this uh, <laughs> see out yeah 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 of course I could then the copy could You know what the difference is, right? In here, the assignment operator is called now becomes it becomes a it becomes a copy constructor. But oh, sure, no problem. Are we good? Now, why it fails if I do this? If I do not mention this, so let's uh, put this one over here. Why does it fail when it goes like this? The reason is that when I don't have anything in here, the length is zero. And when the length is zero, mod doesn't have a definition. It fails. It's literally an incorrect, uh, you cannot divide anything by zero. It becomes infinity, right? So, so how do we fix that? The thing is that in here, I need to have a condition over here saying if, say, uh, if this, if this is valid, do that, right? It is reference to me. Name of something. I cannot put nothing in there. It has to return something. OK? So what I will do, what I can do, is a very crude way of fixing it, but I can. I can create over here char character m garbage. Don't put anything in it. OK? Then I'm coming in here, and in here I'm going to say, Character pointer uh, value or uh, uh, element is equal to address of garbage. So it's going to hold the address of garbage, my element. And in here, I am going to return the reference of that garbage unless. I am in a good state, which in that case, the element will be the address of the actual element. So by doing something like this, garbage. I am that. 
added the address element to short. It's supposed to be turned. Now, if I run the program, it's not going to fail. It's going to show something. I don't know what is that. Starts with and ends with. You can you can put something in it. I don't know. Just put something like something that is very unexpected. Something like a, I don't know. Let's put in a question mark in there. There we go. So now if I actually run it as a question mark, right? And if they set it, the question mark will be. All right? <clears throat> and to make sure that this index will work if somebody wants to pass a string as a constant value. So if I want to do it like this, I'm going to say over here first and last. I'm going to say void first and last. And in here, I'm going to say const string, because I don't want to change it, right? Reference s. And in here, I want to do the exact same thing that I have done over there in here, which is essentially saying s, s, and s. But that's not going to be allowed. Why? Because All right. Because of that, whenever you are overloading the instant operator, make sure you always do it in two different ways. One like this, and the other one like that. And in this constant one, what you do is Exactly like that, no difference. But the difference is that that's going to be a constant. So it gets. It. Or you can return the reference if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. So in here, you can make actually a constant character reference and do the exact same thing over here. Constant character reference. Where is it? So now, this is just to access it as read only. Extract the value. Don't set anything to it. And this one is to change it. And because of operate, because of overloading capability, the proper one automatically. Okay, so in here I'm going to say first and last, and they will both work. The difference is that uh, you can change that value. So in here. You can actually do this. And in the other one, you can't. OK? All right. OK, so <clears throat> I don't know why it set both of them. That's disturbing. Oh, because, because I didn't set it. No, I forgot to set any. No, because I didn't set it to anything. Now it's that's gonna work. So, all right.
Is it open? Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to open. Uh, I'm going to do everything today. So the, all, everything's going to be set up today. So you're going to see the milestone one uh, submission is going to come up. The due date, it, it said when the due date. It says on it when the due date is. No, no, no. Milestones my, and milestones, they don't, they, when it's plus seven. Finish it by fourth. Okay, so first four milestones. It's milestone five that is firm. No, no, two, I don't think you need inheritance. Three, you start with inheritance. I think, I think milestone three is where you start with inheritance. Two, you are doing menu. You are doing, so milestone one, you are doing data. You select something. Prototyping. You are creating a prototype of the application. So okay. Open both okay. Sure. No problem. All right. So this was the review, and yes. Can I check the notes?